What's good everybody, welcome back to another showcase. I hope you guys are all having a very good day. Today I am on BCS Builds Creative and I am in Inner Gold Ridge. I am in the area where there are a lot of really cool mansions and all that cool stuff. I have a couple of mansions here, but as you can see behind me, we are looking at something really cool and pretty amazing. Now this is a Tudor house, really nice. This is sort of the more realistic or modern version of medieval. Uh, the Tudor architecture, really nice. Now this house in particular is probably one of my favorite examples of Tudor. I know Tudor is a very hard style to make something new out of and this house just has it all. So we're going to take a look at this place and we're going to check out all the cool stuff, the landscaping and everything. If you guys really want to check this place out, then I'll leave the directions in the description. But other than that, let's go right into it. Alright, so one thing that I do notice about this place is that it is very, very texture pack intensive a lot of custom textures are going to be used so if you're going to come here in default i do advise that you use the texture that we have i'll leave the link down in the description along with the directions that i mentioned before but there are a lot of custom textures a lot of things going on here especially especially with the interior i saw that before but other than that very very nice house and very beautiful so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the landscaping around here as you can see this is very custom landscaping very nice and I do notice well here are the farms over here but I do notice these lawn lines now I if you know me I do not like lawn lines I really never liked them they're very out you know they're outdated not a lot of people use them but the, the builder here really knows how to use the lawn lines to fit and make it more realistic in some sort of way I really like this especially how he uses leaves so it's not really like wool because a lot of people when they use lawn lines it just goes straight through the build but as you can see here there's a lot of waves makes the build look 10 times more realistic and I really like that now the builder I did not mention who built this this is actually built by Han Newells and I, I actually had a few talks with him pretty cool guy but as you can see he's very talented especially with the landscaping got a lot of lawn lines that just it kind of makes the eye follow throughout this entire build and you know the natural landscape as well with the trees and everything really adds up and yeah, I'm starting to look, really like this area. As you can see here, there are a lot of trees here too. So this is sort of still of a whip. I did check this place out earlier and there was a lot of stuff that still needed work, but most of it is done. You just need the trees. But in the backyard, we have this huge pool. Really nice, very beautiful pool. It's got this pretty nice walkway up here. Now one thing I, w I would do something with this place if I were to be the builder. I might have like another chill out area over here. But as you can see it's probably going to have a lot of sort of like a nature walk with the trees around here. That's really nice. I really like, like how this sort of end of the backyard kind of blends in with the nature. That's always really nice. So here we got the pool. Pretty good pool. Got some cool textures down there. I think that is, what is that? F3. Hold up. That is Lapis pretty cool use of that block but yeah this backyard looks pretty cozy pretty cool place very big backyard I really like the pathways everything in this build is very curved and I feel like that really gives a nice kind of vibe of realism not how everything is like you know in sort of a grid area but as you can see there are two buildings here that is the guest house I believe and that is the or the regular house so let's look at let's take a look at the exterior here now, as you can see, you, you can see the half timbers that, you know, kind of stretch across the entire build here. That's one really big fundamental part of Tudor architecture and the style of the houses. One thing I really like about this kind of house is, number one, you know, there's a lot of custom textures. I really like the purple. It really makes the house stand out. But another thing that Handles did was he blended in this these bricks. And that is pretty cool, too. So you see a variety of materials, which is pretty amazing, pretty epic. And I just like how smooth everything transitions, er everything with the house and the structure. Pretty neat walkway. And this tree over here, that's pretty cool too. It's kind of just in there. But yeah, this is far one of the best examples of Tudor I've ever seen. Very inspirational. If you're building a Tudor house, this is something that you should see. And, you know, that's basically it for the exterior. It's kind of a peed throughout. But there's a lot of really innovation going on here. A lot of inspiration. Stuff that I've never seen before yet. But I'm going to slow down right there. As you can see, I've got some skylights here and some gables and dormers. That's pretty cool too, the windows over here. It's kind of blocked. Nice privacy. 
But yeah, and I think it's a, it's a clock right there. Yeah, I've never seen a lot of stuff in this building never seen before, and it's actually pretty cool. I might use and include some of these things myself in a build. So Hanul's really good job on the exterior. But we're actually going to move on to the interior of this house. Alright, so starting off with the guest house here, we're going to go inside. There's a pretty cool lumber kind of collection here and then another exit over there, but we're going to walk in the, the main entrance. So here we've got the main entrance and in here, got a pretty cool, this is actually a really neat guest house. I know you gotta be like you gotta you gotta have like a really big house and a really pl good plot of land to have these kind of houses, but this is just another house on its own. Pretty cool, really nice windows designs. But as you can see, I, r I really see the dedication and commitment uh, Hanul's has made to this house. There's just so many small details that you can see around here that normally a regular builder will not have. Not even I would have in a house. Just everything is really nicely detailed. Well, this is really cool. Got this outdoor area. Kind of goes on both sides. That is really neat. And there's a lot of stuff going on. So, hope I can take everything at a slow pace. But here we got another room. This is the bathroom. It's tucked in over there. Now, I'm wondering where the entrance to this room is. Oh, okay. So, this is not another room. This is just kind of like where, like, maybe the groundskeeper keeps his stuff or something. But yeah, you, you do need one of these rooms for a big plot of land like this. But we're going to go upstairs in this house. Really cool exterior. Can't believe that. But up here you have your living area. A really nice living space. Got this pretty cool stuff going on. And in here you got the bedroom. It's a two person bedroom. Well, two beds in here. But yeah, the furniture too. Is even even down to the furniture is very very ornate and very detailed. But yeah, I'm really liking this house. Pretty nice. But we're gonna move on to the main house now. Not much to see. We really want to see what's in the main house. So as you can see, it's gonna walk in, kind of role play this. But even walking in, you just see. Take a look at the view of this house. Just beautiful. And that's one thing I lo like about Tudor. I think it's just a very calm and really nice looking house, very smooth, compared to other things like the other Victorian kind of styles. We're going to walk in this walk right here, and here you already have, you have a sort of like a pavilion area. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of houses have these. That's really nice. So yeah, we're going to go in here. You got your main room, very high ceilings, pretty cool. And that's a really nice way to make a sort of a light. I think that's uh, some sort of stained glass. Well, here you got your main room. Pretty nice, pretty big, pretty cozy too. Got this sort of couch, or I'm not sure what this is actually. Yeah, I think this is a couch. I know that I am using a 1.11 texture pack in a 1.12 server, so some things might be a little different. But yeah, really grand room, pretty nice. Let's take a look at what's in here. Got your bathroom. Staircase is kind of settled in the middle. That's pretty nice. And here, got a lot of living space. Pretty cool. Not a lot going on on this side, but that's okay. There's a lot of room going on here. I don't blame Hanul's. Now this, this kitchen is pretty cool. Kind of has that modern rustic feeling that I like. And that's one thing about this Tudor house. It has a lot of modern vibes in it. It, it. it does feel a little different than, you know, say a, a Victorian house that I build. It's got a lot of cool modern looks to it. Kind of very, very cozy. That's the word I'd use for this house. And this this bay window here kind of looks like a turret. I think this is kind of this could be considered a turret, but it's pretty nice. All right, so you lead outside. Got this pretty cool walkway. That's really nice. I really like this. This is a really nice addition to the house. Something that I I would never thought of this when building this house. There's a lot of clever stuff going on in here. Got your jacuzzi, hot tub. And here, I'm assuming is... Okay, this is like a library. That's cool. That's cool light, too. Yeah, so when I'm walking through these houses, you know, I, I do advise you guys to come on here, too, and check out this house yourself. But you guys just gotta notice some of the furniture here. I cannot... You know, I could always say it's really nice looking, but, you know, it's very inspiration. Whenever you're building a house, you know, you should take note of these kind of things. Because, you know, 
there's always people like Hanus are always finding new ways to build furniture, and that's that's amazing. We're upstairs now, so we're gonna take a look at all the bedrooms and bathrooms they have up here. So here we have your bedroom number one, pretty nice suite. Got your closet, and this is probably another closet. Oh, this is the bathroom. Okay, pretty nice area. And you got your shower. That's cool. And this is pretty neat sort of extension. Just right out here. Not sure if I put a bathtub here, but it does have a good view. Just, t just take a look at that right there. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice big bathroom, uh, bedroom. One thing I do like about this place, too, that I really think adds to that whole modern sort of vibe are the wall. And now, if you don't know what this texture is, this is now this is why I said this is a very custom textured. The wall itself is made out of, I think this is sponge, and I'm not sure what that is. This is, hold on, uh, bone block. That's pretty neat, pretty interesting use. Now, this place, this is pretty cool. This is, this is the master bedroom. Got your billiard table, and... Now, this is a pretty cool feature right here. It's a loft up here, sort of a living space. That's cool. J yeah, just the layout of this house is just really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. But the bed, really nice. That's grass, too. But Hanul's, the amount of creativity that went into this house is just unparalleled. I've never seen this on BCS before, especially in Gold Ridge, even in my own house, before, you, know, the, you know, the houses that I build. Pretty amazing. Now, in this room, we got just a storage area, I guess. It's kind of where you just have storage. But up here, yep, even more storage. This place is a labyrinth. But I know that Hanul's has been working on this house since, you know, maybe even, you know, months ago. So, to Hanul's, really good job and, you know, really good payoff. Got this pretty cool piano here. That's pretty nice. And you got those, uh, I believe this is like a white bed kind of texture because, you know, 1.12 has those nice, the new white beds. But in here, um, this is a nice lounge. Pretty nice area too. I just like how everything is really open. You know, a lot of shred buildings and a lot of traditional houses are very closed. Well, this house feels more open than usual, which is something I really like. But I believe that are that is all the rooms in this entire house. I might have not touched on some of them. Very big house. But maybe you guys could come on here, check it out yourself, because there's a lot of stuff to take a look at. But that is basically the entire house there and entire showcase. If you guys enjoyed this house, which I hope you did, props to Han Newell's. Really good job. I rate this house a nine point nine nine maybe. Really good house. Near perfect. I have I haven't like barely even checked out any of flaws in this house. It's just dropped it gorgeous and really nice area in Gold Ridge. So if you guys do come on to check in this house, then check out all the other houses here. Really cool. Gold Ridge is really good in development. A lot of progress has been made. So I hope you guys come on here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got a lot of stuff coming up soon. So if you did, then be sure to subscribe and comment about this house. And I'll see you guys later.